Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and the most important thing out of all of the patch notes is that this upper limit of 180 is going to 240. For those of you who don't know, every energy takes about 60 uh, or 6 minutes to recharge, which means that currently at 180, we have to log in at least more than one time a day in order to not fully cap on it. This is really nice because now we can log in every day at the same time if it's pushed to 240. This means that it takes 24 hours exactly to restore the en entire energy in totality. This means you log in at 9 a.m. every day. You can keep up your routine. You just have to do it once a day. It makes it much more convenient for a lot of us. But that's not the only thing that has been added into the game. Stay tuned. We'll dive into the exact changes in version 1.3 developer notes. So this is the official uh, Voice of the Galaxy developer notes. I'll leave a link like of, to this official post in the video description below. A few of us were speculating on like these changes, but now it has been made official. And not only that, other than this 240 energy restoration, we're also getting an additional bonus. It seems that there's going to be this reserve trailblaze power being added into the game as well. So what this means is, I guess once we hit the cap of 250, of, um, like maybe 10% or 20% will be spilled over into this reserve trailblaze power that we have. This is nice especially if um, for some days we can't log in for more than one day like maybe we were on holiday and stuff like that at least we get some value but i don't think it's uh, ever worth it to have it spill over because as you can see it's not the full amount that spills over so it's just a small amount that uh, that transfers over and stuff like that probably good for sub accounts if you have a few sub accounts lying around you don't have to log in as regularly and you still can get quite a lot of value out of it as well uh, really nice quality of life improvement let me know what you think is this like your favorite or is anything else uh, that we are covering here today any of them are your favorites or you really love as well I'd like to hear from you as well so the second thing uh, the developers note is when you're going through the story dialogue if you actually tap someone on the screen you can't see the previous dialogue this is a problem that i personally have as well like if you accidentally click somewhere because maybe you're alternate tabbing and you tap back in and you accidentally click something then you miss the entire story and you have to like go on youtube to find uh, like the videos or find some dialogue i found that very frustrating but now they said that it's not going to be out in 1.3 but in future updates you will have a review button that you can maybe like read up some dialogues and stuff a lot of rpg games Games, and I think some other gacha games do this where they have like the, the story uh, text or the, the story information all already on the side. You can view it at your own time. So it's nice that they are planning to add this in for anyone who cares about the story and playing mainly for story, which is a lot of people for Honkai Star Wars from what I've noticed as well. So next thing we have is you want to send stickers. Now it's going to be released in 1.3. Previously, it's like we only can text, but at least now they're adding in stickers. So that's a nice quality of life for any of you who use it as a chat messenger as well. I personally don't, but I think it's a really nice uh, thing to have. And this is, I think, a huge change over here. If you see all of my videos, right, because it's the PC client, there's always this long black bar that goes like on the bottom of the screen that shows my UID and like press escape to see the menu or stuff like that. I found that like really, really irritating. Like you couldn't really see very nicely, especially since we changed our aspect ratio previously with those black bars. Now it's like totally gone, which is really nice uh, as of version 1.2. I will probably remove it because it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing. I don't know about you. Do you want the black bar here on the, the channel or? or let me know your thoughts as well and we will see how it goes along the way. Uh, after 1.3, you also, if you forget to log in on your birthday, uh, you miss the birthday mail, not to worry because it also lasts us, I think after for a certain time, we'll be able to receive birthday mails even after their birthday and send earlier also. But this is also, I think, pretty nice. I'm not too sure if let's say you set your birthday uh, after maybe you, you started the game, do you still get that first birthday mail? We'll have to see how that goes. Uh, I know a few of, of people actually like put the dates before and it might actually like, they, maybe they, for example, if, if Honkai Star was released on the 26th and you only join in May, but your birthday is like unluckily 27, some of us might not have ever gotten our first birthday meal. That's hap that happened to me like Genshin Impact. So I didn't exactly get the first birthday cake. For any of you caring about collectibles like that, I think this is a pretty big uh, the difference, especially if you want to complete your collection of all the birthday cakes to show that you've been playing a really long time from the start too. So that's the, the that's for that. And other than that, it seems that they're going to make some changes to consumables. This is absolutely like worthless in my opinion. Currently, like consumables, super underused. Like even if I go into my screen real quick, real here, like the only ones I actually use on a regular basis is this all good potion and this energy drink just to get the amount of max energy to do my videos. Uh, other than that, I think the other one that I use is this quick, uh, this trick snack, two technique points for the team so I don't have to do my like dailies. 
uh, the quest that uh, requires you to use two technique points quickly. Other than that, I hardly use any of them. And there's, uh, this is like basically a wasted feature. I really hope that they improve this. Maybe they add in more consumables to have better users or stuff like that. At least in Genshin Impact, a lot of them do some other stuff as well, like give you stamina, give you a lot of other things. We'll see how it improves. I think that this can definitely be improved. Um, and in, if any of them can ever be used in the memory of chaos, I think that will be pretty attractive uh, to actually start using this. But who knows? We'll see how it goes uh, according to the developer's log. It's going to be released sometime in future. Let's hop back into the developer's log. Okay, so next up, they also may mentioning here that there's going to be a new item in the Hertha shop. This is super, super important. And I think it is out of all of them, probably the most important thing other than the energy difference, which is quality of life. This tells us because there's going to be a five-star light cone for Nihility. If any of us are thinking of maybe like using our standard tickets to pull for Welt's light cone for Kafka or Welt himself, you might want to hold off a bit until we get a little bit more information for the light cone. Since it's going to be in the 1.3 update, you will likely see the stats officially uh, in the live stream that is going to be somewhere around next week. It's always a couple of uh, a week and a plus before the next patch. So you have enough time to plan whether you want to pull Kafka's light cone. For any of you who want the video, uh, I already mentioned this in that video. You can check it out uh, if you're interested whether you should pull Kafka's light cone and I go through my thoughts on why I am personally skipping it. But if you're interested in this kind of content, uh, do check it out. Uh, otherwise, do save your Hertha bonds because you need eight to switch around. That's like eight weeks uh, to get the, the first light cone. So if you start now, at least you can get it earlier in version 1.3, maybe before it ends as well. Whereas if any of you haven't saved up, uh, probably you can start saving up, up to you. Depends on whether you want a 5-star Nihility light cone. It's free, so I think it's tons of value. Just uh, take the 5-star stats. And the last one here is the auto battle feature that people are not too happy and giving feedback on. I do agree. The auto battle is not perfect. The AI sometimes like uses too much skill points when it's not necessary as well. Uh, they said they have a lot of feedback about it and they are also uh, looking to improve the experience in future updates. At least they have acknowledged that they know in as of currently in version 1.2. So it's nice that they brought it up in the version 1.3 uh, patch notes, developers notes as well. So what do you think overall? The, this is like basically the end of the notes. I think it's pretty nice changes. They could have just not taken into consideration you could left it at like 180 because we will be forced to log in even more which increases their engagement uh, for their statistics as well for, for them to report to management and stuff like that so it's nice that they gave us these kind of quality of life features which is really I think what Honkai Star is all about like a chill casual game that you log in clear your dailies you do your, your stuff that you want to do you enjoy the game rather than being forced to log in like twice a day stuff like that when you are very very busy and when you get lost behind because of the left lost trailblaze power it does leave a bad taste in the mouth so i'm really happy about this and of course i'm really happy about this additional light cone that's going to be made available i think a lot of us will be interested in how it performs i will be picking it up uh, in the light cone shop once it arrives and i also have the welts light cone so i'll be testing both of them maybe a super in position one and thereafter uh, super in position five once i get it ready as well if you're interested in that comparison or other videos like this do leave me a like comment and subscribe for more of such future content and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video